The translation has been automatically provided in multiple languages. In this video, I'll walk you through building a simple demo app step by step, and then run it using the OptimaJet form engine. The form I'm going to create will look roughly like what you're seeing on the screen right now. Let's start by creating a new application from scratch using VIT and run it. The first command sets up a new project with React and TypeScript. Then we move into the project folder and install the dependencies. At this point in the video, I wanted to remind you that OptimaJet has released all the essential libraries for building forms under the permissive MIT license, making them free to use, even in commercial projects. The first dependency is the core package, the main package for rendering forms, and the second component is a visual components. And now that we've created the application, the next thing we need to do is add a form to our project. The form is described as JSON, and we can quite conveniently and easily build this JSON using code. In this case, we have several components on the form. A container, inside which are the first name, last name, and separately, the date of birth. We also have a submit button, which, when clicked, triggers form validation. All right, if you don't mind, let's go ahead and take this form for us to fill out together. Next, let's copy the whole application we've created. And now let's run it. We don't actually need the styles that are currently present in this application at all for our purposes. So let's go ahead and carefully replace everything with what we had previously saved in the clipboard and then start up our application, just as we did before. Now let's open the form page at this local address. We can immediately click the Submit button and see that our validation has worked. Next, let's fill in the fields. And as you can see, the validation process triggers once again. Now the form is now completely and properly filled out in the correct way, and we can very clearly see all of its data displayed right here on the screen for us to review. At this point, we can go ahead and send it directly to our backend system. Instead of manually creating JSON, which can be time-consuming, we can just install Form Designer that makes the process much easier. Now let's install the Form Engine Visual Form Designer. And Let's go ahead and launch the designer together, right now, from this code snippet, just as shown here, in this example. Let's go back to our application, and carefully remove everything one by one. The simplest way is to specify Export Default Designer in the line. Now I'll save the changes. All that's left is to restart the application. And let's take a look at our form engine visual designer. Great, the visual form designer has started. The only thing to keep in mind is that we don't have a license key available at the moment. But even so, we can already go ahead and create a form. We are able to add a container to the form as the next step. Inside this container, we can then add two input fields. These input fields can be cloned if needed and we can also assign specific names to each of them for easier identification. Please leave your questions in the video comments. It will really help the project grow and be very useful for our development team. Next, we add validation and attach all necessary elements. Thank you for watching this video. You'll find links to the documentation below the video. Let's launch the form preview. The editor is working. Congratulations on your success.